Mm-mm. What a mighty God we serve, y'all. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for Jesus. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Oh, ooh. it's Friday. We done made it through the week, y'all. God has been good. Hallelujah. I'm so thankful. Jesus. We got so much to be thankful for, family. Hallelujah. So much to be thankful for. Uh, greetings to you, my brothers and sisters, in the name of God, our Father, our Lord, Savior, and indeed Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and his precious Holy Spirit here to give us guidance and to give us comfort. Welcome to 7-Minute Kingdom Building. I'm your host, CL Champion, pastor of Mount Mary Missionary Baptist Church in Sasser, Georgia, where we have in-person worship every second and fourth Sunday. Uh, and guess what? This is the second Sunday coming up. So we will be live in the sanctuary. Uh, well, not live in here, <laughs> but we will be physically present in the sanctuary to uplift the name of Jesus together, to encourage our brothers and our sisters, to tell everybody about the goodness of God. So now, uh, Mount Mary and Sasa, our um, Sunday school starts at 1030. Uh, we have a dynamic Sunday school teacher, uh, and our uh, praise and worship actually begins at 1130. And we're just going to listen to the Holy Ghost the whole time. So now, um, the, the intent of this message, this broadcast, is to lift you up with a brief word from the Lord. Um, I know um, presently a lot of people only think about church on Sundays. Right, or when they stand in the need of something. So uh, what I would like to do is express to you that God is always there. He, he's uh, The old folks used to say, I got a telephone in my bosom. I could call him up and tell him just what I want. And this was before cell phones were even conceived, y'all. Hallelujah. So um, I pray that we are ready. Um, this week, the topic has been walk in the light. And our subtopic for tonight is praise is what I do. Have mercy, Lord. <laughs> Today is Friday, June the 10th, um, and our scripture comes from uh, the book of Psalms, uh, chapter 150. The whole chapter. It's only six little verses, y'all. So this is what was left behind for Christian posterity. Praise you, the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him. According to his excellent greatness, praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and heart. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 150. Who what a powerful powerful message that is. Praise is what I do. I'm not going to talk too much. I'm, I'm going to keep it uh, strictly to scriptures as much as I can tonight, y'all. Praise is what I do. Acts 14, uh, Paul and Barnabas were, were actually uh, teaching the gospel of Jesus throughout the land, and uh, they were teaching to Jews and Gentiles, and there was a, a building up of hostility because the Jews are still upset about Jesus coming along and fulfilling the law. And so now they are starting problems. And it just so happened that uh, Paul and Barnabas found out that they had planned to stone them. And so they fled to Lystra and Derbe, uh, cities of Lycaonia, like, like excuse me, <laughs> Lycaonia. And, uh, and they preached the gospel there. And there was a man, the scripture says, and there sat a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who had never walked. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him, and perceived that he had faith to be healed, and said with a loud voice, stand upright on thy feet. And he leaped and walked. Hallelujah. God's word for God's people. He leaped and he walked. Walking in the light. Praise is what I do. I got one more passage to give you though. Luke 17 uh, verses 12 through 19 
and uh, like before, I'm going to paraphrase a bit, but then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say exactly what the Word of God says. So now, um, Jesus was traveling, and he entered into a village, and there he met lepers, ten lepers. And they lifted up their voices, and they said unto Jesus, have mercy on us. Okay, and so when Jesus saw them, he said, go show yourself to the priest. And when they went to show themselves to the priest, they were cleansed. And so all of them, all ten, were cleansed by Jesus, but only one of them turned back, and the scriptures say, uh, with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are none found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. That's something to shout about. That's something to praise the Lord about. Praise is what I do. See, I know there was nothing but the grace and the goodness and the mercy of the Lord that allowed me to get up this morning. And I know it was nothing but the goodness and the grace and the mercy of God that allowed me to have my mind, have my full uh, full capacity, of my, my mental capacity, and uh, full access. And it was him who gave me mobility this morning, uh, and the ability to, to move myself. Now, I, I move a little rough, I'm beat up, but I'm still here. So I got to praise him. Praise is what I do. And I'm sure if you take 10 seconds right now, you'll be able to come up with at least five things that the Lord has done for you this morning. Let's see. One, he woke you up this morning. Two, he allowed you to get up and started you on your way. Three, you're either at home, uh, you got a house or you got an apartment or you got a car, you got a phone, you got a computer, you got something that you're watching this on. Four, he has blessed you to be able to not be in prison. And if this if this message finds you in prison, I praise God for you. And I pray that you uh, receive his goodness right now, wherever you are. And five, we still here. That's what, 10, 15 seconds. That's five things I can thank the Lord for. Praise is what I do. We like to say when praises go up, blessings come down. But he said the blessings ahead of the praise, y'all. You know? Come on now. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. That's, that's, mm. that's our time for the night, family. As we pray, Father God, we thank you right now for life, health, and strength being as well as it is. We thank you, Lord, for all your many best blessings, Lord. The blessings that we don't even think to take into account, Lord. We don't have to sit back and make our hearts beat, Lord. We don't have to let the, make the blood course through our bodies, Lord. We don't have to uh, 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 turn on the computer to thank for us, Lord. Father, you gave us all of this. You're worthy to be praised. You gave your son Jesus to pay sacrifice for us. And on that third day morning when he rose, Lord, with all power in his hand, Father, you gave us a path to get back to you. And then you left your Holy Spirit here with us to give us wisdom, guidance, comfort. Father, we thank you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Let every heart say amen. Family, ooh, family, I'm, I'm sweating in here. Share this message with somebody. Uh, remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. And if you're able, we'll see you in the sanctuary Sunday morning. Praise the Lord. Praise is what I do when I want to be close to you. I lift my hands in praise. Praise is who I am. I will praise you while I can. I will bless you at all times. Good night, family. And I vow to praise you. Whether happy or sad, oh Jesus, I'll praise you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Excuse me. Thank you.